garage. Last things I need to do then is fix the desk in the school. Do terrain. I'm gonna paint roads. Kind of like a square. We need to make the pond look like an actual pond. Finish the clutter back here. And then do their yard and the bathtub room. And a memorial, but that counts for being outside. That's it. Perfect. Now, how about I finish the bathtub room real quick so that every room in the house truly is done? There we go. I think I'm gonna do that so there's light in here. Do want to get a little um table with a pitcher. Let me get that pitcher so that they have something to pour water in. Luckily, this is right by the kitchen. Even with it being pretend that they're putting it behind a closed door, they still are next to the kitchen so they can grab their water. Do they get in the tub? I'm trying to think which side they get in. I might need to have a sim get in. Perfect. And then you can come over here for a moment. Well, I can go see if I have a stool side table. I don't know if I do. Oh, I have like these. Oh, let's maybe change this to be... Which one do I have in here? The white one? Oh, I kind of like that next to the tub. Put it like right over here. Let's do the same picture from in here on the wall. And then maybe they have a couple. Perfect. Here you are. And then I can give you the towel. Is this the one that goes with this tub? I don't- I think so. Maybe not. Maybe it does go for another tub. We can make it work, though. As long as I can get in. Looks great. And I need a towel rack and their bar of soap. Towels, please. Those have a normal swatch, but I don't know if I'm gonna want those just hanging there. It's a very quirky object. Let's put this- um, listen, red shelf. Are you stuck in the floor? If we put this- that's on the door, that's fine. I'll probably keep it on that wall. We can line it up here. If your sim height and then the kids could grab from the bottom type thing. I mean, I'm sure they'd be having help when being bathed anyways. Okay, maybe they made two then. And then this tub. Yeah, I like that color for it. That'll do. And then the window, we made a high one on purpose so that, you know... You can't really see anyone bathing, but it brings in light. And then soap. I believe the bar of soap and little sponge is probably gonna be the closest thing they would even be using. If they even had soap. This house probably would because, you know, they live in the mercantile, but they don't have soap like we do now. Oh, look at this. Soaps. Wait, that's so cute. What? I love that. It's just so... This could have gotten in the store. I don't really have room for that in the store now, but... That is adorable. Oh, it could go here. They could have some soaps by some of the kitchen stuff and you could buy a bar of soap. Love this. Up the right way so I can drag you over. Rude. Why are you like this? Actually, here. Sure. Snap there and I'll drag it back. How about that? Right. Put this like right. Yeah. And then there's some soaps there. Because this is like some kitchen stuff. Obviously, the store is just a little chaotic because it's kind of how it be. But you could buy like a new wooden kitchen tool. And a cutting board and a bar of soap. Perfect. And I need to line this back up right here. There we go. And then those look fine. Perfect. Let's do that. And then they live in a store. I'm sure they can grab a fresh bar of soap if need be. I think that would work. And then this can go like right here. And there's a little sponge. Like a real looking sponge too. So that's perfect. That should work. I love that so much. You can take a little bath in the tub. And then they have towels. I can't wait to see them gameplay. <clears throat> Maybe a little rug in there. And then we'll call it good. Welcome back to my series of I hate rugs. Ooh, what about one like this? Do that because it kind of matches that. And then it just makes it a little cozier in here. I want to put a little something on the wall here. Because they have some art around. And I just feel like a little something there. Just to make it homey in there. Even though it's just their bathtub room. What if we put one of the needle points in here? But like size it down. I just want to feel cozy when you're sitting in the tub, you know? Because then it's like this just little cozy tub room and then when the door is shut, you have some privacy but you don't feel trapped because there's still natural light and it would just be cozy and then you'd be sitting here like this. I like it! And then you can read this. It's perfect. Thank you. I think that's good. They have soap, they have a sponge, they have a towel, some extra towels, and a pitcher to put water in. Oh, yeah, we could put a candle. Wait. I could put the candle on the stool and put the picture next to it. Let's see if that looks good. Hold on. I'm getting the candle. Okay, what if we put this up here? And we could... Uh, well, I don't think these will size down, so it does have to stay the same size. But put that up there, and then the picture could go next to it. I'll put the soap off to here. Oh, the plate is being weird, isn't it? Um, How about... Oops. Oh, there. Now we're talking. We could even move this just a tiny bit back. Put the sponge... In in the biggest part and then that should be fine i just need the plate to not peek out there that looks okay here you go you have a little rug so it's not so barren that's perfect i love that tub we've had issues finding tubs like that that don't have like a faucet but still function in the game that one's good that one's really good
<laughs> I wonder if they can bathe infants in this bath. I didn't think about that. I'd say bathroom is done. We have all the stuff they need. Lighting, bath, a little bit of decor because I think they would in this house. Um, a sponge, soap, water pitcher, close enough to the kitchen to heat up water. Perfect. Unless it has a custom tuning, it shouldn't need a fix. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna work on the yard. So luckily, I already left a lot of objects out for myself so I don't have to find them, right? But I need to figure out how we're doing it. So I have an outhouse and a well that we need for sure. You don't want them right next to each other because, you know, well, they dig down for water and outhouse, they dig down for, you know, <laughs> waste. You don't want those combining, so I want to keep them on separate sides. We could put a tree by this to almost offer a little privacy. Obviously, they're inside of it when they go to the bathroom, but... Like, something like this in the corner. Now we're talking. Uh, the only issue I have with the outhouse being here is if I put a table here, they're gonna look at someone going to the outhouse. I could tuck it over here. So what if we put a tree closer to their house but not in the house and kind of put it over here? I'm struggling. We just need to make sure if this didn't go into the house if that went there you could put the well back over here because i guess that's right you do want the well to be closer to the door because they're gonna have to get to it i need to put stairs here i don't even have stairs to get down and i need to decide if we want to fence this in put that there is that the i thought we were using the flat one is this the flat one? Oh, let's be real which one is this steps of wood oh yeah that's right they're brown and white what about this one but that one doesn't have as much wood tone but um we can pretend okay let's use that one then i guess it depends on how we want to put that one because the stairs are here that'd probably be okay it's right in line of the door it's so accurate <laughs> welcome to my home everyone i think that fits their vibe of their house i guess we won't put fencing i mean they could on theirs i suppose but let's do these clotheslines so this one is a pre-made full one which could be cool to always look like they're doing some laundry but we may end up needing two empty ones so we could always swap them later Ooh, we could do um i guess keep the picture the same as the inside ones if this is too close we might end up needing two wash bins too we'll have to see wee -woo, wee -woo. I like that. This is... Actually, I don't know if this is anything. I think this is fake. Hold on. Um... Oh, yeah, that is nothing. This is a flower arranging table. But I'd rather have flower... Let's find a flower arranging table we want. Let me see if I have any other ones. Oh, so this is a CC small one. Why would I want a short one? How do the Sims do a flower arranging table like that? Because I want them to do flower arranging because for one, it's a skill. For two, we can sell it. And for three, it's fun. I think that would be good. Should we put our anvil over here? This is technically a woodwork table. We could put one around... That could be fun. Maybe back here. Or actually, I have a bunch of room back here. Maybe we could put one back here. Let's do that for now so that has a spot. We have a woodworking table in the storage shed, but now we have two, you know? And then I... Oh, yeah, I also have candle making in... <laughs> You would want this inside, not outside. I don't have room. Unless we can put it in the barn, I guess. That's what we used to do, but I don't know. We could make a spot here, I bet. Or or maybe over here and move the corn. We could totally do that. This here. This is the candle making table, and I love this thing. It is so good. The, like, recolor, remesh of it is fantastic compared to the in-game ones. And we could move the corn room right here. Let's actually move it to this side and put this over here. That way they... And this gives more things to do in the barn as well so now that means there is for one the animals but like the inside there's nothing really functional well now they have a candle making table and then out here they have a woodworking table the well is technically uh functional i might swap that well for this one maybe i shouldn't because they might have different wells of different like styles now it has a bucket tied to it so maybe maybe i will leave that one now i don't know exactly where it's gonna go back here i guess it could be centered but face this way okay that's fine. And then this, I don't think I'm going to use it because they already have the other table. We can do that. And we could put them either by the house or over here. This is the other corn. Oh, this was in case. Huh? We do have a butter churn. I'll probably put that up here. This is not a wash tub for laundry. This is for babies and pets. We could still put it by the laundry or over here. I kind of hope that we can wash toddlers in it. Or not toddlers, infants, but I don't think... I think it will have that since it's a custom object. We could just put it on the other side. And it would look like two wash bins, but one would be for bathing 
kids and dogs. Yeah, 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 let's do it. How is this one placed? In that block? Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. Maybe tuck this over here. And then it will just look like that. I know the hawthorn trees are my favorite. They just fit so nice, but and they're like a nice size tree, but not huge. Yo, I love the pink one. I'm this close to making this pink. It would be a pink chicken coop. They have paint. They could make it pink. That should work. Just like, don't mind the person pooping in there, you know? It'd be so weird to just walk by here and someone's just in there pooping. You would hear them. It's just wood. <laughs> There we go. This part looks like such a good spot for a garden. Besides, I guess, the sun and the roof. But you had it like this. Hold on, I need my grid back. Will this work? Or maybe put them... Um, I don't know how I want to do their garden. Because these are the ones you can put four on. Or we can just plant in the ground. But I do like these ones. I just want them to have a nice little garden. Or... And I need to decide how big it will be. I need to see what this looks like when things are planted in it. Can I have a test them? Okay, you can walk on these. Okay. Yeah, this would work, but I don't... Hmm. I'm gonna delete these. Sorry, sir. I know you just worked so hard planting those. I think I like these ones. And now, do we want... I need them to have enough crops, but they're also... They're not farmers. This would just be their garden. You know what I mean? It doesn't fit with the house nicely. It's bugging me. Unless we put it back here and put the chickens here and just have one clothing line for right now. But I know they're going to need another clothing line later. We could try to stack these. They just have to have room to get in between them. Or just give them one and hope for the best. And if they need another, we give them another later. <laughs> I'm liking that idea. You could have one off to the side, potentially. What if we try this? I guess if we only have one, push it back. And then I'll have room here and we can flip these. So we could do that and they would wash that way. Try that out. Can you just kind of tuck it under the side here, maybe? What if we do... Don't mind it being by the outhouse. It's whatever. Fertilizer. Oh, yes. The ground is nice and fertilized here. Um, Then chickens could go more in the shade. Maybe they should go right here. And then... And I would have room for things like this back here. Or this could go up here too. I guess I need to decide what I'm putting here. If you did like this, you could have different crops going. I just don't know what crops they're going to have until I really look into it. But we could put these here for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, it has like all of them. Strawberries, potatoes. Like, look at these. Carrots. We'll just put random ones for now and we can figure it out once we play it. Apples would be trees. All of those are trees. We'll have to see. What is that? Oh, it's a cow plant sign. Mushrooms. We could do a little wooden table out here or i could do one that's a little bigger or like one of these i have one of these in the front oh i love those chairs those are cute oh these ones because you could do like this do any of these tones match that try something like that yeah yeah we could put it over off to the side here oh i think it's about it i mean they can have some yard space because the chickens have to have room to wander anyways wait it almost looks like it's built in i wonder if it's functional oh my gosh it looks like they literally built it into the side of the house oh my goodness or i could try to put it up here placing things is hard okay but i don't like the table in front of the door so we could tuck it down here so this wall is the winner and we could put one of these here too I have some other floral carts. This one is just one we can actually put stuff in. Oh, there's this one. But this one's not functional, but it's, you know, a cart. This is a harvesting basket. Does this have swatches? No. So I don't know if we want that around here too. There is soil bags here that we're gonna have to disregard, just so you know. Just so we're all aware that we do not see those. Otherwise, what if we just do, like, some storage on here or something? We could potentially put that there. Actually, that'd be great, Clutter. Oh, gloves. I don't know if they'd have gardening gloves at this time. Probably not. I mean, I guess, like could let's go ask google when were gardening gloves invented that is not gardening that is surgery <laughs> please <laughs> please so i guess if we had normal gloves like leather ones you could leave some out what about the little um travel rake rake isn't there that tiny tiny rake well you know what this shovel looks great don't you guys think <laughs> i think that looks great they're all by itself uh, oh and you know what actually i just realized this has scissors and stuff too and a watering can watering cans weren't invented yet I googled it. They're not invented till 1886. The ones that look like this. They used like other things that water would come through like pots with holes and stuff. But not not the watering pot like that. I don't really need the wheelbarrow because we have a bajillion. And what's that? A garden roller. This bad boy. Now, we do need to decorate it a little bit if you don't want it plain. But now we don't have all the stuff that's not like for the times. But we could put like this. This is flower arranging. But I mean, you can put other stuff on it. Herb. Mm, these. These are so cute. 
What if we just fill the top part with these? I think it would be a great space saver, or I will sit here decorating forever. Or not space saver, space taker upper. And then let's change the swatches. What we got here? Ooh. A little lavender. Okay. That. And that. <gasps> Look at the tiny flowers. Oh, wait. That's succulent. Oh. <gasps> There's succulent ones? No way. All right, do these. Do do those. Oh, that is so cute. A starter seedling? We can do this. You're welcome. You're welcome, Kate. Look at this. Aw, let's put one out. Oh, and then these ones. I love those. A miniature vine plant. Look at this baby. Wow, I love them. Uh, Uncle Bob's dusty rubber plant. <laughs> oh, it's like on a little stool. Wait, that's cute. Oh, the one vase is cracked too. Okay, that's fun. The blooming basket. Ooh, should we put these on the porch? That's adorable. Although I guess I have flower baskets, but like... What's this? This is a wary... Oh. Oh, I love... I love stuff like this because remember in um, the orphanage challenge we used like all the vampire stuff so you can make walls look really worn and every oh i love that oh my gosh yes yes little mold little mildew perfect i know i'm like behind on the game with all this but we're gonna enjoy it anyways more tiny pots normal oh little tiny pots okay i love that they made them tiny dusty trinkets whoa it's like a bear and like some little things i don't know i guess trinkets or I guess, is that a cat? Seedling pots! Oh my gosh. Oh, here's a vertical stack of pots. Okay, I have so many different pots in my game now. Look at all these. Oh my gosh. Gardener's Hall. This has like gloves, seeds, a watering can, fertilizer stuff. Okay, that's cool. Mulch to do about planting. So this has like some bags of stuff. Look, see, they made like old-fashioned swatches. Did, were they thinking of us? Like uh, people like us who play like old fashion all the time because that's so kind of them what if we just you know like this let's do this one and we can have some little seedlings because why not that one's like dying and this plant's just fun yep sure i put these down here i sure can try oh do these not snap because they're a ground item? Wait. Yeah, these don't snap anyways. Okay, well, what if we just put these here then? Put that over there. Or maybe like... Yeah, mm-hmm. And then this is for the flower arranging. And then down here, I don't have anything right now. How about this pinky one? Nah, let's make it blue. It'll stand out. Oh, I have the little seed box. Oops, and it's gone. Oh, we could put this here because they don't have to actually open open the box oh, look how cute oh my gosh that box is so precious that is so cute i have some random honey i've been waiting to use i mean you know I'm go over. what if does it slot up here it does how cute so like am i allowed to paint this pink because i keep wanting to and i think put some firewood right there Easy. And then a nice butter churn. Oh, you know what we could put out here? We could put like some kid blocks so it would look like they, you know, they have something to go and do. I have a white one. Those of your aesthetic. These are nice to put around, especially once we have the tots. How about... Don't fall off the edge. <laughs> this was my gnome, but I didn't know if I wanted to use him because I don't think they would have a gnome like that even though I love him. Hello, Google. When were garden gnomes invented? Garden gnomes as we know them today were first produced in 19th century Germany by sculptor Philip Griebel. Made of clay and eventually resin and plastic by the 70s and 80s, these gnomes were called Garten Zwerg or Garden Dwarfs. However, the earliest gnome statuary descendants were used in ancient Rome. So you're saying there's a possibility. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, in 1840 in the gardens of England. So it's like 35 years later, it could have made it all the way to our town. Perfect. Perfect. You say probably not, but Google says yes. I love him. Can he be pink? You're saying there's a chance that we had someone from Germany come to our town and say, yo, I heard of garden gnomes. I'm here for it. Absolutely. Thank you. And he's going to look so cute. Or you could stand right behind these guys here. There you go. Now we're talking. This was handcrafted in Germany. Let's go like this. Put some hay around here. Gotta love those lines, huh? Perfect. Well, what if we put the egg basket over... Here, we could put a basket. Actually, because I need stuff to put down here. Let's do that. Make this one brown. Light. No, do do this one. Yep, 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 yep. Put these. Oh, put these here. Put this. Let me see what else I got over here. Oh, do this and let's just size it down. <gasps> Perfect. There. 
Now, what if I do? I want this to be like the egg basket. Scoochie. You don't scoochie nicely. It's rude. Very rude. And appreciate the rudeness. It's just like this. And then this needs to be closest to them. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. We'll have it labeled corn. That's fine. Okay, I like that. Let's do that. We'll delete this. We could... I don't have like lighting out here, right? Oh, it kind of seeps in. What if we put another... I love this candlestick. Okay, it glows. It's amazing. I should probably put some lights around outside in case they're out at night. Because they would just move lights with them, but my sims don't know how to do that. I kind of want to bring a light over here. Thinking about it. I used to do that in other decades, too. What if we grab the barn one? This one? What if we got this placed up so it looked like if you come to the bathroom, you could hang one up? Or do we have one that sits on the ground like this, even? And we could just put it on the ground over here? Let me just take a peek. All... Oh, we could use one of these. I'm gonna have the in-game one, too, to be fair. This one has a handle. Why does the in-game one look so wrong now? Because we've been using so much, like, realistic-looking ones. And these you can size down. What if we do something like that? We could even grab another little stool and put it over there. Could do something like that. No. Because if you go inside here, um, it's, it's not. It's invisible. It's invisible. Um, I can try to hang it up. It's just gonna be annoying. We'll try. I guess you could just put it on this side. It would give light for gardening. Try. Yeah, that would work. Okay. Put a lamp down. I wonder if I could put a lamp on the edge of this with red shelf. It looked like someone sat one there. Just so that when it's nighttime and they go outside. Because they do. They do go outside at night too. If they had to go over there, it would look like it's lit. Where did the one go? Oh my gosh. It has slots. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bless. Thank you. There you go. Ooh. I want to put a sunflower there, but I want the light. Well, what if we do this? Here. Oh, I could grab the one we put over here because they don't have one here it's beautiful there you go now we're talking all right yeah here we go you can put that up there no design tool that's fine and then it has that perfect i need to figure out where their wagon's gonna go and we're gonna have a road go all around here so some stuff we're just gonna find over time you know we'll delete that for now Be like wow we need this and then we'll add it and that's how it be so technically stove is here you would assume the pipe goes up through the wall and out but well, it would be like here so about right there let me see from here i need to go back one to look like it's in the wall oh my goodness like that would make it look like it's in the wall there pretty close i mean it's sims it's weird because the wall's not technically big enough right so i'd say besides plants which plants are hard their yard is done <laughs> this does look very cool and once i add like because we could add like some bushes here you know or a little flower like that kind of stuff i'll probably be doing the, all that at once but like the actual items and then chickens will be in there we have chicken feed over here then as we just want to add things over time we'll just add it you know i'll leave some room and this is for walking or like if we need a dog house type thing i want to put this like down the whole fence like somebody stop and then the porch i gotta make cute basically i'm gonna have the little table and then some rocking chairs it's just hard to make work because there you have a flower thing it's just a little annoying look how cute the lace is through the window that's precious we will not stop you <laughs> v2 and v3 those are so cool and then there's just like other flower packs and there's some different cc trees that look really realistic an acacia tree what is this minecraft a beach tree oh my god what's this one maple Ooh, a little willow tree i love willow trees oak tree oh my gosh M minecraft it's the handrake i was looking for i don't have a spot for it oh it could go back here sure you can sit there oh my gosh look at that and this and this oh my so do you guys want to rake out here at all i guess you have stuff inside though hello i need a sim oh, oh there you go oh 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 game <gasps> that would fit yeah that hortensia garden cc they all have different colors let me turn the sun back up. and they're so precious so uh let's see maybe tomorrow then we'll be working on i suppose terrain and stuff i still have to figure out school stuff but i don't want to spend all my time on that so maybe tomorrow's train day and flowers because uh, i have a vision i just have to make it look good yeah 
yeah, we're getting very close. We got this, but tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow, we'll probably be working on terrain then. Nothing crazy. I just want to make dirt roads. But I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for the support. Thanks for being here while we build. Even though I've been building for, you know, a few weeks now, I appreciate it because we're so close to done and it's going to be worth it because it looks amazing. And I love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank you.